Welcome back to K24 Alpha Jiri. It is the third hour where we get to chat. And today is Wellness Wednesday. As we told you guys earlier that we are going to be focusing on arthritis. And I have been joined by two very incredible people, Dr. Fred Otieno and we have Lona Karumba Karibulin Sana. Lona, you look very warm. Are you freezing? No. I hope not. <laughs> we are so happy to have the both of you. Please tell us what you do. Let me start with Lona. Um, I am a finalist at Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. Uh, pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a singer, a musician. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. So are you going to be singing for us? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, as we wind up the yeah. segment. Perfect. Okay, Dr. Fred? Thank you very much, Sarah, and thank you for the invitation. Mm -hmm. So as you said, uh, uh, I'm a consultant rheumatologist and a physician at the Agakan University Hospital. Okay. Yes. And Lona, you are a juvenile arthritis patient. Yeah. How has the journey been for you and when did you discover that you had uh, this disease? I discovered it when I was in class six, mm -hmm. around when I was around 12, 12 11, 11, 12 years, mm -hmm. um, where I started experiencing some pains mm -hmm. in my knees and uh, I decided to go to the doctor, just a normal visit. Mm -hmm. So now, when I went at first, I was just given some painkillers mm -hmm. and I went home. Mm -hmm. But the pain kept in, um, increasing and I kept feeling like um, the, the, the joints were getting more and more numb. Mm -hmm. So after they did a family history kind of thing with the doctor, mm -hmm. they realized that my mom was suffering also from arthritis. Mm -hmm. So they went through a few tests mm -hmm. and uh, First, they didn't confirm it, mm -hmm. but then I went on again after two months, and then they confirmed that I have juvenile arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so how did this affect you? I think at that point, we were a bit confused because mm -hmm. we knew nothing about arthritis, mm -hmm. and my mom also didn't have much to do with arthritis. Mm -hmm. She didn't know much also. Mm -hmm. So we went through a few, from one doctor to another, that was one of the issues that I really went through. Mm -hmm. We were running from one doctor to another, trying to get second opinions, mm -hmm. third opinions. But uh, afterwards they confirmed it that I have juvenile arthritis. Mm -hmm. And so we started the journey. Okay. Yeah. From your understanding, what is a juvenile arthritis, if I may ask you? Um, from my understanding, it is the inflammation of joints okay. for, of a young individual, like a young child. Mm -hmm. Uh, the normal arthritis, but now of a, of a child. Mm -hmm. So it gets better with age mm -hmm. as you grow older. Mm -hmm. um, and then it, yeah, it's just basically the pain in joints, in certain joints of the body. Okay. Yeah. And you say that the pain started on the knee? Yeah. Has it shifted to any other parts of the body? Yes, it has. Okay, to where exactly? Um, to the ankles, to the hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with time, mm -hmm. with the cold season, yeah, it moves to many parts of the body, many mm -hmm. joints of the body, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you're still undergoing treatment? Yeah. Okay, if you may just tell us which kind of treatment that you are undergoing currently. Okay, at the beginning of this year, I went through something called a rituximab in infusion, mm -hmm. which uh, helped me, really, really helped me mm -hmm. to, to actually move on with the arthritis. Mm -hmm. But currently, I'm on a drug called methotrexate, mm -hmm. which usually I take weekly mm -hmm. on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Uh, we moved from the oral medication mm -hmm. to the injections, mm -hmm. so I think that has really brought a change in my, in my living with arthritis, mm -hmm. because once I was living with arthritis, mm -hmm. I then developed a condition called gastritis mm -hmm. of the stomach. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the medication that my first doctor gave me, mm -hmm. which uh, didn't go well with the stomach issues mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so much acidity, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and we shall be getting much deeper into that. And Dr. Tari, I think now we should dissect this topic, and this is a chance for you. As I always say, every single Wednesday when we're talking about matters, wellness, um, this is a free consultation. So if you have anyone that you know who's suffering from arthritis, please be sure to send us any questions on our social media platforms, that is Facebook, K24 TV, Instagram and Twitter is at K24 TV. And you can actually call us live. Dr. Tari is here to answer any question that you might have in regards to arthritis. And maybe, Dr. Fred, if we can just start by um, understanding what arthritis is, if you could just take us through that. Okay, thank you very much. So from Lona's story, you heard that uh, she had problem with the knees. Mm -hmm. Then from the knees, the pains went into the hands mm -hmm. and all the joints. Mm -hmm. So briefly speaking about arthritis, arthritis is derived from two Greek words. Mm -hmm. So the first word is arthros, mm -hmm. which means joint, mm -hmm. and itis, which means inflammation. Mm -hmm. 
So generally speaking, arthritis is inflammation of a mm. joint. Mm -hmm. So any disease that affects a joint is called arthritis. Okay. Yes. So what exactly causes it? So there are various causes of arthritis. Uh, but uh, broadly speaking, we can categorize uh, causes of arthritis into inflammation. Mm -hmm. So inflammation is where the body's uh, response to injury mm -hmm. or uh, to a toxic uh, agent into the body. That, that response to that, uh, to that injury is called inflammation. Mm -hmm. The other cause of arthritis is what we call degenerative arthritis. Mm -hmm. So degenerative arthritis is wear and tear. Mm -hmm. So our bodies, like my parts of a machine, mm -hmm. as we age, if all of us were to live to age 90, mm -hmm. we will all have degenerative arthritis. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There are other minor causes of arthritis. For example, in patients with uh, sickle cell disease, mm -hmm. they can get arthritis. Mm -hmm. There are other causes, for example, in metabolic diseases. Mm -hmm. So the commonest is gout, mm -hmm. yeah, because of uh, increase in uric acid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But the other thing, also in our setup, we have a very big burden of infections. Mm. So infections also can cause arthritis. Absolutely. Yes. And we shall be talking about that shortly. This yes. topic is very close to my heart because I have a very dear person of mine who, you know, is suffering from the same. So I'll be really asking so many questions okay. for me to understand, yeah. you know, just how to take care of, of, yeah. of a patient, you know, who's uh, going through the treatment yeah. and what to do when they're in pain. Yeah. But even before that, you know, um, statistics actually show that over 50 million Americans are living with arthritis. So that means one out of five people has arthritis. So I don't know whether you have uh, the statistics from here in Kenya. So like most of Africa, there's positive data in yes. terms of uh, the burden. But yeah. we can extrapolate because the type of arthritis uh, mm -hmm. we see around is what we see in the West. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, one of the commonest uh, type of inflammatory arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, mm. so it is estimated that there's between 1% to 2% mm -hmm. of Kenyans who have rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about between 400 mm -hmm. to 800,000 mm -hmm. Kenyans outside mm -hmm. there who have rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. If you look at other types of arthritis, for example, osteoarthritis, we have more patients who have, so we think it could be about a it fifth of us. It could be about, yes. okay. Yes. Wow. And that's such a huge number. Yes, so it's not, okay. a, it's not a rare disease. Mm -hmm. It's something that is here with us. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah. And another very interesting fact is that it, it, it actually affects women more than it does affect men. Why is that so? Yes, so especially for the inflammatory arthritis, and there are, there are various factors, but the, one, of, one of the factors that is thought to be uh, as a result of that is because of hormonal factors. Mm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it is thought that the hormone estrogen mm -hmm. tends to be arthritogenic, so mm -hmm. tends to drive the arthritis process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you look at the degenerative arthritis, mm. there are also other biomechanical factors. So in terms of the shape mm. of uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you look at the male, the male pelvis is a bit different from the female pelvis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the way they load weight onto the joints, especially oh, the okay. knee joint, is, dif is different. Yeah. Ah, okay. But I must also add, also there are other factors, for example, uh, social. So there are things, for example, putting on high heel shoes. Mm. They do expose <laughs> you a lot to arthritis, you know. Yeah? Yes. So there are such, such uh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, occupational. So traditionally, we saw lots of women carrying stuff in their mm. back. Yeah. Mm. So that led them to a bit more mm -hmm. risk uh, to getting arthritis. Okay. And yes. even as Lona mentioned, she yeah. actually... Um, um, she was diagnosed with this when she was very young. Yes. So does it mean even for a younger person, you are not safe yeah, so after, with this at, particular disease? Exactly. So arthritis affects, it cuts across all age spectrum. Mm. So we have as young as one year olds who have arthritis. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was old as uh, anybody can get. Okay. Yes. So what are some of the, of the symptoms that we should look out for? Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, when you talk about arthritis, is a disease of a joint. Mm -hmm. The first sign that you, sh you should look out for is pain in the joint, mm -hmm. yes. So any pain in the joint mm -hmm. should be taken seriously mm -hmm. and uh, people should seek out treatment mm -hmm. because as uh, we shall see mm -hmm. is that most of this type of arthritis, if they are caught up early, then you can prevent most of the complications that mm -hmm. do arise from them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's dissect the different types of arthritis. And as you mentioned that there are so many. Yeah. Let's start with de degenerative arthritis. Yes. What is it and, and what exactly does cause it? So degenerative arthritis is uh, what I would call, broadly speaking, the wear and tear type of arthritis. Mm -hmm. 
so what, what is called osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. So this is as a result of use of your joints over prolonged periods of time. Mm -hmm. So if you are to all live to age 90, we will all get osteoarthritis. So what happens in the joints is that you have a lining, the cartilage, mm -hmm. which with time gets worn off. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. And that lining of the joint enables the joints to glide smoothly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So one of the symptoms that you have in osteoarthritis, mm. you start feeling that there's some creaking sound. Mm -hmm. People will feel that in the knees, people will mm -hmm. feel that in other joints. Oh, like when yeah. you stand and then you feel that? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. right. So the earliest signs we usually see is, for example, you have trouble going downstairs, you have trouble going upstairs. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Then gradually, if that is not uh, attended to, mm. then now it becomes very difficult for you even to walk mm. and to perform your uh, daily functions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. And, and now, what, what, what treatment options do we have for this particular uh, kind of arthritis? So in terms of treatment, the the first thing is that patients need to be treated early. Mm -hmm. So whenever you realize that you have symptoms of osteoarthritis, you mm -hmm. need to seek your treatment early mm -hmm. because at that point in time, then we can either arrest the development of this arthritis mm -hmm. or reverse it. Mm -hmm. If patients come late, there are still other modalities of treatment, mm -hmm. but these are more invasive uh, modalities of mm -hmm. treatment. Mm -hmm. So patients who have very advanced osteoarthritis, then these are patients who can offer surgery. But we want to be as conservative as possible yeah. when we are treating this patient. Before you get yeah. to the surgery, like you yes. must you know, make sure that you've exactly. used all the options. Yeah, so there. the key thing about osteoarthritis, mm. the, the degenerative arthritis, mm. is capture the patients early and treat them early. Okay. Yes. Is it preventive by any chance? Absolutely, it's preventive. Yeah. So one of the things we are seeing in our population is that we are seeing a high burden of obesity. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, if you look at the commonest type of arthritis, mm -hmm. osteoarthritis is mm -hmm. the knee osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. So the knees are weight-bearing joints. Mm -hmm. So with this increasing load of weight that is put, puts pressure on the knees, mm -hmm. then you have tendency to mm -hmm. getting osteoarthritis mm -hmm. early. So there are measures that can be used to prevent osteoarthritis mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. So lifestyle uh, modification is important. Mm -hmm. The other thing is uh, increasingly our population, people are running away from exercise. <laughs> yes, most of us, you get to your car, you park. Yes, yeah. yes. So exercise is very important in yeah. terms of prevention yeah. of osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. Yes. The other thing very important is diet. So most of our diets now, if you look at them, they are very poor in calcium mm -hmm. and vitamin mm -hmm. D. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So dietary uh, enrichment is something that we need to now look at. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And how do you manage it? So in terms of management, the first thing is, uh, of course, your patient has pain. You need to uh, sort out the pain. Mm. Then very importantly is rehabilitation. Mm. So physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. Physiotherapy is important in management of osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. But there are also some treatments that we can give. For example, if the joint is swollen, mm -hmm. we can give some uh, anti-inflammatory drugs, mm -hmm. either through I joint injections, mm. or you can give some oral tablets mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. And where you identify the cause of osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. if it is because of a secondary arthritis, mm -hmm. then treat that cause of the arth mm -hmm. arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about inflammatory arthritis, which is yeah. basically yeah. Um, goes hand in hand with your immune system. Yeah. Yes. Explain to us how that happens. Okay, yeah. So inflammatory arthritis, like what uh, Lona has, yeah. is uh, basically what happens, your immune system, as you develop in uterus, your immune system is trained mm -hmm. to recognize what is yourself and what is foreign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, a long development in some of these patients with uh, uh, inflammatory arthritis, mm -hmm. That recognition of what is yourself is lost. Yeah. So you lose what we call immune tolerance. Mm -hmm. So the immune system does not recognize yourself. Mm -hmm. So it attacks your body system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in most of the inflammatory arthritis, mm -hmm. it predominantly attacks the, the joints. Absolutely. And yes. you have the different types of inflammatory arthritis, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Take yeah. us through them. Yes. Yeah. So the commonest type of inflammatory arthritis is... Uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. yes, and rheumatoid arthritis, as I said, we think we have between one to two percent of the population having mm -hmm. rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. so it is not very, it is not rare. Mm. Uh, 
if it occurs in uh, children, we have the juvenile arthritis, like mm -hmm. uh, what uh, Lona has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are other types of inflammatory arthritis. You can also get psoriatic arthritis. Mm -hmm. You can also get uh, inflammatory arthritis secondary mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. other diseases, mm -hmm. for example, lupus, mm -hmm. uh, other connective tissue diseases. Mm -hmm. They can also present with mm -hmm. the inflammatory arthritis. Okay. Yeah. And as Lona mentioned that um, you know, they can be genetic because you have a family history of that. And there's also another cause which is environmental. Yeah. How does the environment actually uh, cause inf inflammatory arthritis? So what happens usually in inflammatory arthritis is that people have genes that have been identified. Mm -hmm. So these genes, they need to interact with certain environmental factors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the strongest environmental factors that has been associated with the causation of rheumatoid arthritis or the inflammatory arthritis mm -hmm. is cigarette smoking. So okay. smoking, yes. Mm. So if you are predisposed, you have a gene and then you're exposed to environmental factors. Mm -hmm. So these two things will interact and then you will get arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are so many environmental factors that are postulates, their theories. Mm -hmm. For example, viruses. Mm -hmm. We've talked about hormones. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there are so many outside there that they're still in research. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's usually an interaction between these environmental factors mm -hmm. and your, gen your genes mm -hmm. to produce a disease that is arthritis. Okay, yes. but even as we talk about the genes, yeah, yes. at, like, which is the youngest age that a child can get arthritis? Oh, as I mentioned, uh, you can even get it at one year old. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we have infants who have arthritis. Okay. Yes. So how do you treat them? Because, yeah. well, like I can imagine, if this is an infant, how do they cope with the pain? Like you as a doctor, like what do you um, 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 suggest to them as a form of treatment? So the principles of treatment are the same, both for adults and, uh, and uh, children. Mm -hmm. Because if you have inflammation, then the thing is that you need to address that inflammation. Yeah. Mm. So you address the inflammation. Of course, children are, it's more difficult to ascertain whether they have pain or mm -hmm. so on, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you really need to have a high index of suspicion as a parent mm. to be able to pick early that your child has arthritis. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and yes. what are the risk factors? Yeah, so as I'd mentioned, risk factors, environmental risk factors. Mm -hmm. So there's, the, we have environmental risk factors, cigarette smoking, mm -hmm. we have uh, infections, mm -hmm. like viral infections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, hormonal. Mm -hmm. We also have very strongly now identified as a genetic makeup of an individual. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you know, um, I was actually watching a documentary ye ye uh, yesterday mm -hmm. about infectious arthritis. Yeah. Very funny how you can actually get arthritis, uh, you know, sexually. Yes. So yeah. So infections. Very, that's a very interesting fact. Yes. So what happens when you have a sexual transmitted infection is that your body's immune system will clear that infection. But that antibody antigen complex, so mm -hmm. antigen is a bacterial particles. Mm -hmm. Your antibody is what your body produces. Mm -hmm. So these two things are called an immune, comple an immune complex. Mm -hmm. So the immune complexes tend to linger on in the body for quite some time. Now, when they linger on in the body for some time, mm. they can produce tr trouble. And one of the problems that they can produce is an arthritis. So you get mm. what we call a post-infectious arthritis or mm. reactive arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that does not only occur in, after sexually transmitted infection. Mm -hmm. It can also occur after gut infections. Food poisoning as well? Y yeah. So if you get food poisoning, mm -hmm. you get a bacteria that gives you mm -hmm. a gut problem. Mm -hmm. So that infection will clear, mm -hmm. then after a period of a, week, a few weeks mm -hmm. to a few months, mm -hmm. then you can develop arthritis. Okay, so this is yeah. basically through the fungi and the viruses that, yes. that are transmitted into yes. you. Yeah, but that is, that is a concept called reactive arthritis. Mm -hmm. But infections themselves directly can also give you arthritis. You wow. can get what we call septic arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is a situation where you have your bacteria go into a joint mm -hmm. and cause arthritis. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the emergencies that we have because that tends to be quite destructive and within a period of a few days to a few weeks mm. a person can actually lose that joint if not intervened quite early yeah. Oh. yeah now that is not rare in our setup because you see we have a high burden of infections especially mm -hmm. now in terms of we have a high burden of uh, 
HIV. Mm -hmm, yeah? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with HIV, you have uh, diseases, for example, TB. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we are seeing a number of what we call tuberculous arthritis. Okay. And, that, and that can be quite destructive. Okay, 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 yes. all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Is the treatment for this particular one any different from, you know, uh, the, the degenerative and the inflammatory arthritis? Yes, so for the infectious arthritis, so where you have septic arthritis, yeah. then the treatment is different because you have to identify it first and give intravenous antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And we treat these patients for quite a period of time. We mm -hmm. treat them for about six mm -hmm. weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. and then now we have the gout, which is metabolic arthritis. Yeah. Yes, talk to us about it, because this is yeah. the most common one, I guess, for yeah. most men. <laughs> yeah, so gout has been with us since time immemorial. Yes. And uh, <laughs> as you rightly put it, it is very common in men. Yes. And sadly in our country, I think if you are not careful, is that we're going to have an epidemic of gout. The dynamics of gout in many years, many years ago is that we were seeing it in middle-aged men. Mm. But now, sadly, we are seeing increasing uh, impact of gout in very young people yeah. in their 20s, mm -hmm. yeah, in their 30s. Mm -hmm. Gout is very dramatic. It's something you cannot hide. It, there's a joke that men don't get uh, labor pains. <laughs> men get gout. <laughs> so the pain of gout is uh, very exquisite. It is. Okay. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So gout is basically a lifestyle disease, yeah. which results uh, due to accumulation of uric acid. Mm -hmm. So uric acid tends to be a metabolite of uh, purines. Purines are what make you. So purines are components of a DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are diets that are high in purine. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, red meat, seafood, mm -hmm. yeast. Which Alcohol. Yeah, so yeast which makes alcohol. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those diets tend to be quite rich in, in purines. Mm -hmm. But really what happens in gout is that gout, there's also a genetic susceptibility. Interesting. So you'll find that two people are drinking yeah. Yeah, two liters of alcohol each day, but one person gets it, mm -hmm. the other guy never gets it. Mm -hmm. So this guy who gets it has mm -hmm. genetic susceptibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happens is that if this guy gets a load of purine, rich food, mm -hmm. then they tend to accumulate uric acid and this goes and settles into the joints mm -hmm. and causes uh, arthritis, Wow, which is very painful. Yeah. But the thing I also have to add about gout is that gout is not only an arthritis problem, mm -hmm. not only causes pain in the joints, mm -hmm. but gout can also cause you other problems. Mm -hmm. So when you have gout and you, you have high uric acid, mm -hmm. uric acid can also sediment, can also go into mm -hmm, your kidneys mm -hmm, yeah? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we've had patients who have had who've developed kidney failure mm -hmm. because of gout mm -hmm. so it's a serious disease wow yeah. yeah high uric acid also puts you at a very high risk of heart attack and strokes mm. the same same risk that diabetes gives you mm -hmm. the same same risk that, that uric acid gives yeah, you yeah 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 so it's something that is uh, people should take it more seriously yeah because most of the people will see that they will come to you when they have the attacks. Absolutely. Then after the attacks, then they're, they're okay. Yeah. Then they relax and go back they to their They relax and they see, you see yeah. them when they have yeah. the next attack. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's quite interesting how yeah. um, um, uh, arthritis is largely linked to our lifestyle. You know, like as you have said, the food that we are taking yes. and, 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 and even like um, uh, uh, the exercising, what are you doing about it, yeah. you know? Yeah. And as we actually just uh, briefly, just before we take the commercial break, now, now maybe you can just t uh, walk us through the diagnosis that we have out there for arthritis. So in terms of diagnosis, of course, it depends on what type of arthritis a patient has. So the first way we diagnose arthritis is a very careful history. Yeah. So you want to take a very careful history from your patient, mm. a detailed history. Mm. As Lorna had put it, very important, you want to look at the family. So mm -hmm. some of these things can give you clues into what type of arthritis mm -hmm. that they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are silent features of each type of arthritis. Mm -hmm. So for example, the inflammatory arthritis, you'll mm -hmm. find that they have joint swelling. In the morning, they wake up, the joints are stiff. Mm -hmm. They might have other accompanying features. For example, they might have skin involvement. Mm. They might have even internal organ involvement, mm. so mm. they'll mm. tell you maybe they are not breathing mm -hmm. well, they have mm -hmm. ulcers, mm -hmm. so they have tummy pains and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you also want to look at uh, their ability to perform their daily functions. Mm -hmm. So as somebody has arthritis, you'll realize that 
they will be able they will not be able to do their daily cause mm. people with back pains mm -hmm. actually it said back pain to be the mm -hmm. i think the leading cause of sick offs mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. then physical examination will give you clues mm -hmm. into what type of arthritis you could be dealing with mm -hmm. then thereafter you want to run your tests yeah mm -hmm. so tests there are those general tests that you want to do mm -hmm. you want to do imaging tests so your x-rays, your MRIs, and so on. Mm, mm, so mm. this you'll be able to see whether there is uh, damage in mm -hmm. those joints and so mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Mm. You also want to do your blood counts. You want to do your mm. blood works. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So for example, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, there are certain blood tests that can tell you that you have uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can, you, you'll use your blood tests for diagnosis. Mm -hmm. You'll use your radiology for diagnosis, mm -hmm. but you'll also use them for follow-up. Okay. Yes. All right. And yeah. I want us to take a short commercial break. And then when we come back, we will actually be now delving much, much deeper into how exactly do you live with arthritis? What are you meant to be doing? Uh, what lifestyle changes are you meant to be doing? And you can actually keep on talking to us on our social media platforms. Dr. Fred Otieno is right here to answer any question that you might have. And once again, our social media pages are Facebook, K24 TV, Instagram, and Twitter is at K24 TV. Keep on talking to us and we'll be, we will be ready to answer any question that you have as pragmatic as we can. As of now, we take a short commercial break. We will be right back.